So since we're drawing the same home, our wall section is going to come directly from our building section. What we want to do is open up our building section drawing, save it as wall section, and then we can modify this drawing to have the same exact shape. We're going to focus on our uh, three areas of detail the roof detail, and then the first and second floors where they connect to the building. Let's go ahead and prepare our building section. I've already deleted the left side of my section. Um, and simply, we're just gonna be drawing a line, and we can use that line to trim off the rest of our building. And so simply just draw a line and trim, and green cross hash, delete, um, whatever you need to do to only look at that main section of our home in between the mudroom and the rest of our building. It will be the one in the middle of your drawing um, with the big roof truss and off to the left of it. As you can tell, our second floor and our first floor look super similar. Right? This is called a rim joist or a floor truss, and on the outside edge is a rim joist. Uh, up top we have our um, roof truss system, and down below in our document you're going to see um, kind of like how our basement just touches up against our, our walls. So the rim joist detail, uh, it shows us where the floor connects. Uh, we have a 16 inch wood truss, uh, 3 quarter inch plywood sheathing on top, uh, on the outside of our home, we have siding, uh, and then a sheathing layer, some insulation, and our gypsum board. Um, above that, we have our uh, 2x6 um, sill plate, and then a 2x8 uh, sill plate. And then again, here's that 16 inch wood truss. On the outside, that rim joist, it's an insulated rim joist. And up above, we have um, quite a few things that we need to take into account when looking at our roof truss. It's a little bit different than what's inside the book. There's a few discrepancies. Um, the slope of the roof is a little different. And I want you to focus um, our main attention on the sizes of these members. So here we have um, some fascia boards, right? A one by four, one by eight, and a one by 12. Now we've already talked about a one by four, or two by four actually, being uh, one and a half inches by three and a half inches, or a two by eight being one and a half by seven and a quarter. Or just in our last lesson, we talked about a one by 12, or two by 12 for our stringers. The two by 12 is one and a half by 11 and a quarter. Well, whenever we have a one by, those are only three quarters of an inch thick. Same lengths, just three quarters of an inch thick. Those will go inside here and build up our fascia. Uh, another discrepancy is the fascia framing. The top edge of the fascia framing should be in line with the top edge of our wall. So we're gonna need to kind of raise this up to where it's in line and flush with the top edge of that wall. Then you're gonna go ahead and uh, create some new layers, uh, G Anno text and G Anno dims. You're going to then uh, place in your annotations. Uh, Multi-leaders will go on the G Anno text. Dimensions will go on G Anno dims. And if you go down to the bottom of page seven, you're gonna be putting in these annotations on your own.